Because he can't be seen. My head be. Yeah, we Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Hi guys and welcome back hey. to T and Tay. Oh, moving where? Because you got me here. You're trying to get close to me and just move in this hole and spot over there. The hole and spot. Oh, this one back this way. The hole and spot. The only one hole and spot. Oh gosh, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, there! Like, why did we put that there before? Because you never asked. Well, if you move back over and wave in the picture, you'll be all right. But no. I'm sorry, I never asked. I told you, as we go, I'll think of things. He's so helpful. So helpful. I love him. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> this is so helpful today. Always. Who are you today? I'm T. That's T, y'all. And I'm Tay. Welcome back to Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Um, this, this right here, is what helps keep the relationship strong. It, it keeps it happy. It yeah. keeps it lovable and enjoyable. Having fun with your mate. Yeah. Um, loving on your mate. That's laughing. Sweet. And that's today's topic, by the way. Like, laughing with your mate. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's what I was about to do. I was about to tell them what to talk Okay, well, you can get so, a lot of descriptions. No, what? Nobody know what you, where you're going. So, <laughs> as I was about to say, as he already said, today's topic is how to keep the relationship strong. What keeps it strong? Mm -hmm. um, and this is just our viewpoint on what we feel like keeps the relationship strong, what has kept our relationship strong, um, the things that um, we do with each other for each other to help strengthen the relationship and ensure that it's enjoyable for one another. Um, I mean, laughing, joking, playing, just enjoying one another's company really helps keep the relationship strong. Um, so today we'll talk about just like different things or just tips and advice of things that we can share with you on what keeps us going. And yeah, that's all we really do, guys. We're no licensed therapist or anything. We just give you tips. However, okay. you knew I was going to do it when you said licensed therapist. So I'm not a licensed therapist. But I am a licensed relationship coach. So the information will be down in the comment section below. If you need someone to help you figure out how to build healthy relationships, whether it's um, in your marriage, in your um, relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend, um, relationship at work, uh, at job, at, at, at um, church, or just with your family, um, children, whatever it may be, parents. parents um, <laughs> Even if it's just help with time management or um, work-life balance. That is my specialty. That is what I focus on. So it's not in the comment section. That's not why we're here today. Let's keep it moving. So he let me land and he led me into there, y'all. So y'all knew I had the opportunity to share. Yeah, this is... Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, I, I did that. So I'm going to share, right? And your bio life as well, man. It's very okay. loving, it's great, and we're good, we're celebratory for what you have accomplished. I don't feel that emotion. Yes, we are. However, to the ones that are listening that need to hear, we're in the advice that we're given on keeping it fun. Now, see, this is what we have to don't do. Don't however mean. We have to keep it moving, right? <laughs> so, we're keeping it moving. He keeps we're going to say compromise. Oh, we yeah. Compromise real good. She wanted to know what I was going to say, but compromise is really a big one. You know, not every time you have to go to that same place or restaurant that you mm. want to go to. Sometimes you have to compromise with your mate and go to the other restaurant that they may want to go to. Or you just may have to be in general looking at something totally different. A yeah. lot of things that we like to do is spontaneous mm. when it comes to a restaurant choices. Because foods are a big one and uh, we are vegan and pescatarian here. Yeah. And, uh, the choices are really uh, interesting at times to find, but uh, we do keep a good um, balance and compromise in that alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, because there's a lot of times where there's nothing for me there to eat but salad and fries, but instead of me whining and complaining, I'm thinking about what he likes. 
and ensuring that he has some choices and variety as well. And the flip and same goes on the flip side. So there's a lot of things that we just um, begin some of the process stuff that doesn't sit well with him. So we try to avoid it. And but he compromises. He come. He'll eat with us at places we eat. So we find things that we enjoy together, and it keeps it strong because we're thinking of one another. Um, we're considerate of each other's feelings, uh, of what makes each other happy. We, we just really, really think about that whole scheme of things when it comes to each other. We, our communication is great. Yeah. Um, it keeps it very strong because we communicate with each other. Very, so in the beginning of our relationship, in all honesty, um, I struggled with sharing with him a lot of things. I still, oh, that face, that was not necessary. I still have times where I won't be as open or so here's my thing. I tend to have to process what has happened and then I can start talking about it and share it with him. What's going on? Whereas he's the type of person, let's get it out. Let's talk about it right now, right now, right now, right now. And I had to understand where he was with that. And he um, and Flip had to understand where I was on that. So we had to come to a common ground where um he addressed where he was with the situation i explained to him how i felt in that moment and then needed time to really fully address it and then we revisited when i was ready to come back to it so just making sure you are being open in communication with each other is beneficial because if you can't talk to each other then you're going to be talking to somebody else outside of the household who either a don't want you to be together in the first place so they're going to try to tear it down or B, trying to find their way in to where I'm in. So as long as they got information and insight on what's going on in your marriage or relationship, they're going to find a way to tear it down again so they can find their way in. So being able to talk with each other and having open lines of communication has been beneficial and has really kept us, like, keep kept this strong. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are you still going with, with the Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was getting come off the communication. Oh, he's, he's ready to jump off. But I want to make sure you get well, it all out. Did you so consider it? <laughs> but so, okay, so just that, you know, community, just make sure that you stay, been able to talk with each other about what's going on. Um, and then I'll get off of it. You know, I get on my soapboxes and stay. But um, the communication, you like, maybe lose my train of thought. Maybe it's time to get off of it. Fine, man. Communication, okay. y'all. Communication is another one that keeps it strong. But compliment one another. Ooh. That's always a, a real strong one. I mean, I have no problem complimenting this beautiful woman here. And um, I always tell her she's my Proverbs 31 woman. And so, uh, aside from the Proverbs 31 woman, she's a beauty. She's everything that embellishes a Proverbs a, a woman. And uh, it's, it's really awesome. Thank you, Hansel. Uh, so compliment, and she compliments me. Uh, and she just heard <laughs> that we didn't skip, that wasn't skidded at all. Uh, and it's just, that keeps it happy and, and joyful, and that someone uh, is looking at you. You may get enough compliments outside the doors, but there's nothing mm -hmm. like the compliment that you get from your mate. Because mm -hmm. you can be with your mate five, ten, two years, and you you know, you forget about those compliments, but you got to remember those compliments that that what started the relationship. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, you gave compliment after compliment. Yeah. And, you know, and I don't mean go overboard. There's really not a way to go overboard with that. Well, I was going to say that while you were talking. Is, it's not to where you go. Junior, yes. But long as it's that, junior, it's, that's what I was going to say. It's like yeah. you can water down a compliment by saying every single day, yeah, uh, you're pretty. Yeah. You're pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> You're yeah, pretty. You and then that. at that point, it loses value. Yeah, it's no longer right, to, right. am I really pretty? Or is this yeah. just him being so rehearsed and so, um, what's the word, uh, uh, robotic about it, just to say he said it, you know, doing it out of habit instead of doing it out of gen genuine, like really thinking that I'm pretty or that I'm beautiful. Um, but, you know, really being able to be genuine with it. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm seeing my husband and, yeah, it's yeah. hard not to really compliment him as I see him. So as I'm seeing him, I'm like, oof, boy, you know, I'm like, I'm really saying genuinely yeah, something, really something meaningful when I'm saying it, not just, oh, you look good, yeah. you look good, right. you look good. I mean, he looks good, yes, but, but to be, you know, genuine with it when I'm saying it versus making it seem like I'm not just saying it just to say it. I'm really saying it because I mean it. Yeah. And that's how I feel about you type of thing. So you never want it to feel like it's something that you're forced to do. 
um, that you're doing it out of habit. And it's not just about their looks that you're complimenting them on. You're you're being aware and appreciative of just them as a person. Thank you for opening the door today, or thank you for you know taking out the trash. Thank you for washing the dishes. Thank you for uh, you know picking up the kids from school. Knowing that's something that we do on a regular, but just you know taking that moment to um, appreciate and and compliment and acknowledge one another and the things that you know we we tend to take for granted because oh they do it anyway it's something they do all the time but a lot of times they just want to be want to hear you say thank you or you know oh i love you i love how you have your hair today that means you're paying attention to them you're acknowledging them and you see them see you're seeing them because a lot of they may have needed to hear that that morning when they got up not knowing if they were going to hear it and if you ain't saying it but somebody else on the outside again careful if somebody else on the outside is saying this more than you are saying it then it causes the mind and the eyes to start to wander and drift so be careful of that be careful 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 okay so we got you know laughter the three oh yeah you got laughter but i said the three c's i'm sorry what are the three c's babe um the communication yeah compliment yeah and compromise compromise oh yeah you didn't say compromise anyway uh. They were mainly mine, more so than my wife, you know. But no, but I agree with them. Agree, yeah, and I, I thought you would. Really I agree with them, but you said laughter now. Yes. You took it another level. Well, <laughs> you gotta have laughter and Either. joy in the relationship. We can't be all business all the time. No. no. I would be a very dull person if I did not have laughter in my relationship. So I feel like having laughter in the relationship is key and it's important. It, you know, laughter is medicine. You know, enjoying each other and being able to smile and be have fun with one, one another is important. Like it's no, like if you okay, I'm compromising. If you're in the mode to where you just doing this again just for habit, okay, we're gonna go to your restaurant. Okay, you look good today. Yeah. Uh huh. We yeah yeah we did. We talked about the dog today. We let him out. We had fun. Look at this. Yeah. Is me and this stone face sound like i'm enjoying the company of the person i'm with it doesn't it, you gotta have that you know and again he allows me to be this bubble of energy and allows it to absorb out and i allow him to get his in too and just you know enjoy and have fun and, and that's what we do we have fun we we we, we make fun of, we have fun with our life because you only get one of them so why not enjoy it why not have fun with the one you with and just be able to uh, make the most of every moment that you get with one another because it, nothing's guaranteed nowadays you know yeah. so you just want to make sure that you're you're really keeping laughter love laughter and uh keeping it lively those are mine my three l's love laughter and liveliness yeah. because i'm full of it all you know and i don't mind giving it to him you know it's it's a it's an honor to be able to share it all with him you know and uh and get to do this with him so yeah, you have a good balance yeah yeah so those are the three c's that he says that keeps his relationship strong and i agree with them and then my three l's i don't know if you agree me because he ain't said nothing but the three l's is love laughter and I liveliness head. i shook my head he shook his head so I need to over talk him. i love you so just keeping Really, and, and even with the word, I love you, those words. Um, I, I tell people all the time when I talk to them, like my son or just friends, if you're saying those, your actions are going to speak, speak a lot louder than your words will. So don't just say I love you to a person without really showing that person that you love them. It can be in any kind of way possible. You want to show them, but don't just allow it to be just words. Because a lot of times we get so comfortable with saying the I love you word that it loses its value. Yeah. Just like that word, you pretty, you pretty. When you're saying you pretty, you pretty, you pretty. You know, it loses its value. It, the connotation of the word and, and the phrase goes out the window. And it's like, do you really love me? Because it sounds like you're just saying it out of habit. Truly mean it. Truly, genuinely say I love you and mean I love you. Um, there's one other thing that my husband and I do that I made it a point to do. And I want to say I did this maybe about five years ago. 
that we just really stop and we do because you never know when the last day or hour will be. So in the mornings before we would go to work, I would, um, you know, in the morning you get in the hustle and bustle. You try to get it all packed up. If you got kids, trying to get the kids in the car, you're trying to get your lunch packed up, trying to get off, get, get on the road, get to work on time, all that stuff. But if we literally take maybe one to two minutes to just stop and be in the moment with each other, hug each other, kiss each other, embrace each other before we depart from one another because we don't know if that's the last time we're going to see each other or not. We don't want that True. last moment that we had with each other before we walked out these doors to be a moment of us rushing and hustling, bustling in a quick peck, I love you type of thing. We really want to take that moment and just enjoy and be in that moment with each other, just taking in that moment with one another before we go. So we literally, we, we've made that a practice and it's not to where are we forced to do it, but it's something that we make sure we do yeah. every single yeah. day yeah. when we're with each other before we depart. She's done that very well. It's been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it has it, it, it has meaning behind it because you, you're stopping and you're blocking out everything else that's going on around you. Because even if you left two minutes later, you still don't get to work around the same time you were going to get there in the first place. But taking those two minutes and making it be worth worthwhile for taking those two minutes to spend with your husband, your wife, your mate, and just enjoying that moment you have with one another before you depart from each other for eight, nine hours out of your day. That's something that's really been very helpful and it kept us very connected to each other. And, you know, we, we talk all day long, too. Our jobs have allowed us to do that, too. We get some of that talk time in, but just really when you if you don't have the ability to talk all day long to one another based on the job that you have, then taking those few moments in the beginning of your day and really being present and being intentional in the moment with each other, hugging, loving and showing affection to one another before you depart. Those are some things that has kept our relationship very strong, happy. Fun, joyful, and amazing. Yeah, I, would say. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Aww, right. you and me. Maybe you give us a moment. That is really awesome. So yeah, um, that's in a nutshell. You got anything else to? Not right now, no. Oh, y'all know him. Straight to the point. Yeah. That's it. That's all he got. He got nothing else. And what shut him Me, I'm a long-winded talker. Y'all ready to shut me up, right? All right. Well, we thank you guys for tuning in today to T and Tay Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Um, join us again next week for more excitement, more joy, more love and laughter and fun from us. Um, until next time, y'all. Yeah. It yeah. will get better. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better, y'all. We like fine wine. We get better over time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us age a little bit more than others, but it's all good. <laughs> Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> but no. Oh! We're going to end on that note. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't you tell nobody. Because I'll tell on you. <laughs> yes, that's what keeps you. That'd be running you away. I don't know. It's very comfortable. Oh, you got the mark on your leg. Tripping out of the thing. Oh. Okay. I thought you were hurt. No, um, my wife's leg was across those pants. So you trying to say it was my fault? I'm saying that the fabric was pressed under your leg that caused it to make a mark. So you think it's my fault? Did not say anything like that. I just said that the pants that you had on, that I had on, caused the fabric to mash into my leg. Oh. Um, so what I'm hearing you say is that it was my fault. It's all about our interpretation. Exactly my point. Yeah. I'm just putting the facts out there as to what happened. But so what I got from that was that because of my leg. I'm guilty. That's what <laughs> I'm not guilty. guilty. I just want to know if it was my fault. You blaming it's me? Not. What we doing here? I'm not guilty. So that's why we're assuming that you know I'm saying things I'm not. I'm sorry. Doesn't bother me. So you don't accept my apology? Yes, I always accept your apology. Oh, okay. Cool. It's not bothering me. You never get sorry. That's all. Okay. 